What's up everyone, my name is Ningark, and welcome back to, uh, Planet Base. I almost said Anno. <laughs> Whoops, that would have sucked. Last time, we finally got the patent that I wanted. The Farm Dome. And I'm in a little bit of rough spot, of a rough spot because of buying that thing, and honestly, I just traded for the massive solar panel, and I, like, built this telescope, and built stuff out here. But it's gonna be good. Because once I get that down... Yeah, farm dome patent. Also, I keep hitting F5 because I'm so used to quick saving in Fallout 4. It's such a good game. So if I accidentally hit F5 a bunch, then... Well, that's, that's why. Incoming transmission, 25 cents per... Um, we're gonna say no, because I don't honestly have the medical supplies to facilitate them right now. But this, this is what I wanted. Yes. It's going to take a ton of resources. Just an absolute buttload of resources. You know what? We're actually going to tell these to double produce driller bots for right now. Because I need the ore supply to get my base really, really running. Just up and going. Right now it's in a bit of a bad spot. I have plenty of carriers for my base size right now. 14 is a really good amount of carriers. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow in another, another split. Um... Something like that, 35, 40, 25, that's kind of what I'm aiming towards right now. Because I always want a lot of biologists. Food is critical. I'm going to want more engineers to start doing my bots and all of that with the metal that I'm going to be getting. And I want the workers to be able to produce all of this stuff, so getting rid of this giant starch stockpile over here. Hello, trading ship. Uh, one driller bot. Honestly, my supplies are a little bit low to be trading right now. I just traded a ton. Like, I just gave away everything. And, uh, yeah. I need the, I need the biodome up so that I can sort of make my food bounce back. I'm in a bit of a slump with my, <laughs> with my food. I need it to start doing the bounce back. Okay, those aren't intruders. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing good. Doing absolutely... Alright. I just need more metal. That's... I'm just working on metal. Actually, I should, I should have probably looked and seen if I could have traded medical supplies for metal on that ship. I probably could have. They probably had some. They had a lot of stuff. So if I could go back and do it again... I would, I would probably trade for metal there. Uh, power? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, power. Don't give me any of that fa funny business. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I thought you would change, change your attitude. Wow, when wind is up, it is up. another colonist ship. So we're gonna turn that off until I start fixing this place up. So if I remember correctly my ratio is a little bit weird. Every two wheat plants is one tomato? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still not sure if that is the appropriate ratio for fast producing things. Six. Three, and just like that. Just like that. That's gonna just annihilate my production right now, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really important to do that. Uh, getting driller bots back up with my little bit of semiconductors. Because I'm about to hit a metal, uh, 
just a uh, starvation of metal. Need to fix that. Also, all of the triangles in here look pretty cool. Biodome is out of water. Oh, right. Uh, power that down. So... Power- water is kind of important. Water is a little bit important. In fact, it's so important that I probably should have noticed it while I was doing all of this and looking at my power. And I didn't. And I'm sure you did. Driller bot, 35% commission. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but my base is still in such a low... And just not a great spot right now. As much as I would have loved to have gotten those driller bots. I don't want to send my base into an accidental death spiral, which is very possible had I done that. I'm just playing it safe. Could I have gotten it? Probably. Uh, I, honestly, I probably would have been fine, too. If I would have just traded away some of my spares and been A-OK. -okay. But I don't want to risk it. Because I have a few hundred people that watch this every day. And I would have a few hundred people yelling at me for dying if I did that. So, let's... let's not do that. <laughs> Now we can turn this on. There we go, water is okay. Is it great? No, but it's something. It is something. Uh, power is turning back on for the day. We need more power. To have positive power, I need um, at least 50% wind, and that's no good. So um, when I start getting more metal, we're going to be looking at power again. But this is going to be great. This is going to really, really help out my food. And once I can, I'm going to get the storage over here. And in fact, I may wait for the giant storage as well. Um, I would really like to wait for it. And also, I really want... a lab... over here. I would really enjoy that. Uh, can I afford it right now? No, let's let's get the power. Um, we are gonna get reliable power. Reliable solar panel. Expensive reliable, but still reliable nonetheless. Um, yeah, I, I just need some reliable stuff during the day. Just to make sure if I have a no wind day, I'm not totally dead. Um, yeah, I don't want to be entirely dead by missing wind for just a day. Because it's happened. And as soon as all of those buildings shut off, it's just... It is the worst feeling. The absolute worst feeling. Looks like we're still having a little bit of issue with vegetables. 60% commission metal, no thanks. I'm, I'm producing driller bots. Not very fast, but I am. And if my food doesn't bounce back again, which honestly it should, but if it doesn't bounce back again, then I'll just let in more biologists and build on more of those more plants. Water... I'm gonna need to expand water again. After, after the solar panel, of course. Yeah, after the sol solar panel, we can start working on some more water. I'm really hoping I find that storage patent, though. The massive storage. And then after that, everything is just sort of meh. Tomatoes, I will want eventually, but it's not crucial right now. Tomatoes are an easy replace. I just come in here, take apart some, build some. Easy fix. But building replacements, I have to take apart everything. And that's no fun. It is not fun trying to replace buildings. It is very, very unfun to try to do that. 
So spares are slipping a little bit, but they'll be fine. They're gonna get their metal pretty much no matter what. Guns, we've hit our cap. Semiconductors, we are on our cap. So pretty much the only thing that should be taking metal right now is spares and construction. Yeah, so that got all the metal it needed. Food is going back up, and these are well supplied. Yeah, this should be not a basic. Not in the slightest. Only pasta all the time. Tomatoes and wheat. We are making spaghetti every day with no meat. Solar panel has been built. Great. So now you see we don't need 50% wind to be over. Even though we do currently have 50% wind, we don't need it. Uh, 60% commission that time. You're you're so rude. You're just the rudest. They know what they're doing to me. They they've planned it all out. They're like, we're gonna give him two for 35% commission when he doesn't have anything to trade, and when his stockpile is back up, we're gonna give him some at 60% commission, just to taunt him for not making for not making the trade before. So rude. But hey, two driller bots did get completed. I don't even need to trade for their stinking driller bots. I'll make my own with blackjack and hookers. Hmm. Yeah, food is definitely going up. Everything, oh, everything has green arrows. Green arrows are good. Even my medical plants are starting to uh, backlog a bit. And I know this trip is far, but waiting for the storage thing so I can build it over here and then boom, all the way over. It's gonna be amazing. I might even have enough oxygen over here to support um, two beds off of this. I'm not gonna risk it because I saw what happened last time I tried doing something like that and it just didn't work. But we will get the lab that I was talking about just right here. And admittedly, it will probably put medical supplies and stuff like right here so they'll have to go back and forth. Honestly don't care. It, it'll be fine enough. Again, I'm not optimizing my base to the fullest. It's just, it is optimized, it's just not fully optimized. There we go. Uh, plants aren't being fully maintained, but that's still fine. I'm really not concerned about it. I do need to lay off of my metal a bit so that I can start getting the spares again though. Because that is starting to dip a bit more than I would like. I was hoping it would only go down to like 35. It's gone a little bit further than that. There we go. 65% commission! Why do you do this to me? Oh my god, what did I do to deserve this? So we can go back down to 5. Uh, something like that. It's a 41 item trade. I don't want to touch my metal anymore. We can do it. It's worth it. It honestly is worth it. It really, really is. And then we are going to get a few workbenches in here, not as many as I can fit in because I just honestly don't have enough medics to do that. Man, look at those busy little ants. Incoming transmission, great timing. More prestige? No. If anyone knows why more prestige is good, you tell me. Because I don't get it. I thought prestige was a bad thing. I honestly thought that prestige was pretty much always a bad thing because it attracts more intruders. Food is up. Almost there. And we got it. Massive storage patent. 
Yeah, so I can tack that big thing on right over here. In fact, I could do it right here and then build something else right here. That could be another processing place. Because my other processing is right here. What would I do though? It would be this processing. What would even go here? Oxygen? Oxygen with an airlock? But if I do this... Huh, I didn't really think about this. I thought this was just going to take up so much more space than it actually is. Which side do I want it on? I know it probably doesn't matter a whole lot. But, but I have choices. <laughs> okay, let's look at what I can get. Um, I do kind of like the idea of having processing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this trading ship instead of making decisions. 40% commission for some ore. Nah. I've got the driller bots coming on up. And another one or two about to finish. Yeah, another two about to finish up. I'm going to do the just giant storage right here, and then I will have processing right here. Maybe like an oxygen here with some airlock, an airlock or two coming off of it. So it can just sort of come in into the processing, into the storage and do its thing. And then I'm not really sure what will go in this area, but there's room for something. I, I like having room for stuff. There's room to do things. There's room for activities. And I'm going to bump up my spares up to 70 now, because we're in a position that ore is really going to start pouring in. And this is going to be the, the growth boom, because I'm allowed to start letting in a lot of colonists pretty rapidly. Pretty, pretty rapidly compared to what I've been doing. So in fact, let's just turn it on. Hello, colonists. Uh, food is being a little bit weird because of how food has to be transported. And once, okay, I was going to say once one of these is finished, I'm going to switch it over to carrier bots. Because honestly, eight driller bots is going to be pretty good for keeping me supplied. Is it going to be perfect? Again, no, it won't, but it's going to be better than nothing. And I can guarantee that it's going to be better than nothing. Build it up. Boom. Nice storage. Good on ya, storage. Cool. And I am being much more uh, peculiar about my oxygen placement since last time I had some oxygen issues throughout the base. Colonist ship, are you real colonists or are you fake colonists? You are real colonists. Yes. Up to 61. Uh, Century will probably be next video if I had to guess. If I had to guess I would be getting Century next video. 55% commission for some metal. I can get some of this. Yeah, I can get some of this just because I have the excess medical supplies right now. And that's why I'm producing all of them, is to be able to do stuff like that. So, in my eyes, that's fine. Getting seven supplemental metal. Totally good with that. Just keep shoving metal into my base. I'm totally A-OK -okay with that. And we're going to fill up this area just so I don't have to worry about it later. And also because I'm letting in more biologists and it's just going to keep filling up the storage, which I'm totally okay with. Making pastas, making pastas, and... Making pastas. Great. That was actual, actual colonists again. 
Yeah, see, this is this is the growth boom. This is what I've been waiting for. I've just been waiting to get these things so that I can just annihilate this side of the this side of everything. But power and water. In fact, yeah, water now. We're just gonna tack on another water right here as well, just getting the water so I don't have to worry about it later. And then a bit of power um, storage out here. Again, nothing, nothing is gonna be perfect about my base, but it's my base. It, it feels good to me because I did all of it. Yeah. This place is really shaping up. This is going great. We're about to hit over 100 food, backlogged. Uh, coming up on 20 metal, I'm spending all of it, but that's fine. That's another set of colonists. Some workers. I think I'm going to start bringing in guards, maybe up to about 12? In fact, this will be the garden medic sweep. I want more of each. I want more of each guard and medic. Maybe not up to 12, maybe 10 of each for right now. Yeah, a ton of each sounds pretty good. Basically, I just want to make sure that these are filled up, and I have some excess guards walking around, which that'll give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, two excess guards to walk around. Uh, a constructor bot, 60% commission. No. I can afford to be picky now. I will look into another anti-meteor laser probably next episode. Uh, we can bump up my semiconductors to 10. Guns will pretty much stay at 3. I don't intend on ever, ever needing more than 3 as a backlog, to be entirely honest. And also... What are you doing? Got a couple of medics. Two medics. Okay, that... Yeah, we'll just we'll let in more. And then we will fill out this room just so I don't have to in the future. Some of the stuff I'm doing right now is just future proofing against myself. Oh come on, I saw that you could place there for a second. Did anyone else see that? Oh, it, it flashed again, hold on. Come on. Large group of wounded. I have 18 things so I should be able to handle them. And it's going to give me a ton of coins. I did it. There was like two pixels there that I could have got it, and I totally did. So yeah, 13 of them is going to be a lot. And honestly, I don't even have the medical... I don't even have the sick bay to be able to handle that. But that's something that I'm sort of going to fix later. Um, I don't really have plans to fix that right now. Because that's one of those things that's going to be in this side. I could do it right here. Another one. Just another one right here. That's what'll go in that space. That's kind of neat. And that is another guard. Yep, just one. Just one guard. Yeah. And in fact, let's not turn off colonists quite yet. Yeah, let's not turn them off quite yet. Tables are getting pretty full. So we're gonna tack on the tables there. And as soon as I can, I'm putting these... putting these beds down so people can start actually laying in them.
trading ship. It's this one. It is a 50% commission. My base is doing a lot right now. I have to make sure I'm careful about just overworking my people. Yeah, we got medical beds over here. Is it a great spot for it? No. But honestly, I shouldn't have too many people having to go to it anyways. So its positioning isn't quite as important as some other building positioning. That's my theory. I believe we just have two more of them and then... Yeah, all of the wounded soldiers are done. They were in and out just like that. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. We are on save game 70. My name is Nagark, this is Planet Base, and thank you for watching.